Hey everyone, it's Julian from Digital Trends, and this is the Google Pixel with Google Assistant, and this is the iPhone with the Google Assistant. That's right, Google Assistant is now available for iPhones in the App Store. Let's check it out. Google Assistant on iOS means you can take advantage of a lot of features that Android users have only been able to do. For example, you can control smart home products if you have smart home devices in your home. But you can also, you know, do all the basic actions like you would on Android, like say, what's the weather? So the nice thing is you have the option. For iOS users, you have Siri, which I'm not sure if I've activated. There we go. Or you can now use Assistant. Unfortunately, Assistant doesn't work like it does on Android. You can't just say, OK, Google. Nothing actually happens. You have to go in here, and you have to tap the voice action. Or what's new is you can actually just use this keyboard here to talk to the assistant and you actually can't do that yet on Android. I believe it's coming soon but currently you can only talk to the assistant in the Allo messaging app. So this is actually something iOS users are getting to do uh, faster than Android users. So for example let's say uh, remind me to uh, grab sunscreen And there you go, you can set a reminder right here. And this is great, because before you would have to sort of uh, do a voice type with your, or, or type with your voice, where you would have to say things publicly and, I mean, unless you use a separate app, but if you wanted to use Assistant to set a reminder, you would have to say, you know, set a reminder to grab sunscreen. And say if you didn't want someone else to hear that, you know, that would, this basically avoids that with the ability to just use the keyboard right here. And so you have all the basic functionality like that and more or less what you would expect for a uh, Google Assistant from Android. And if you press this little icon here, you can see uh, an explore where you basically you can see what actions you can do. Um, for example, you can ask these types of questions to the assistant. Like this is actually integration where you can have a quiz uh, roll of dice, talk to Magic 8-Ball, other more you know useful features like call Bob at home. And th these, when it says talk to uh, something, it basically is another integration, kind of like an Alexa skill. Um, so Alfred Quotes is probably a platform and you can talk to it, you can access that platform. Uh, you can basically like play Billie Jean on Google Play Music. All these integrations make it more robust and of course more are always on the way and of course translations google searches sending texts emailing someone checking your calendar google maps and of course home control is really the big feature here because a lot of the things that you haven't been able to do through HomeKit, you might be able to do through uh, google assistant so that's really it um, check out our stuff here and these are my reminders and I can mark as done in this nice little great user interface and again it really all boils down to giving iOS users the ability to access assistant and now this sort of helps Google bring them into the fold and have them use their own assistant rather than have people use Siri so that's Google assistant on iPhone it's actually pretty simple you just have to follow the link to uh, install it and once you have that done, you can set it up and use it with all your services.